9 raised to the power of s plus 15 to the power of s is equal to 25 to the power of s. What is the value of s? Hi, everyone. Welcome to my class. In this class, we want to find the value of s from this given nice equation. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Solution. We have this given question. Let's divide both sides by 9 to the power of x. That is... 9 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of s plus 15 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of s is equal to 25 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of x. This one will cancel this. 1. Then this is 1 plus 15 to the power of s divided by 9 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of x. Now we can reduce this. Then we have 1 plus 3 goes in 15. That is 5 to the power of x divided by 3 goes in 9. That is 3. 3 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of x. Then this is 1 plus 5 to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of x is equal to 25 can be written as 5 squared to the power of x divided by 9 can be written as 3 squared to the power of x. Then remember this exponential rule that if you have a to the power of n divided by b to the power of n, this is equal to a over b to the power of n. And this can be written as 1 plus 5 divided by 3 all raised to the power of x is equal to this is 5 square over 3 square all raised to the power of x. Now for this case if you have a raised to the power of n raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n then this become 1 plus 5 over 3 or raised to the power of x is equal to 5 over 3 to the power of s or square Now let 5 divided by 3 to the power of s is equal to t. Then we have 1 plus t is equal to t squared. Let's bring this to this side. And we have 1 plus t minus t square is equal to 0. Now so let's rearrange. We have t square minus t minus 1 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation which can be solved using quadratic general formula. And a quadratic general formula in this case can be written as t is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then from this question, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 1, c is equal to minus 1. Let's substitute. We have t is equal to minus into minus 1 
plus or minus square root of minus 1 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by minus 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 t is equal to minus times minus 1 this is 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square this is 1 then minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 this is plus 4 over 2 and t is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2 t1 is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 or t2 is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 but remember that Five over three to the power of x is equal to t. Then five divided by three to the power of s is equal to t one is one plus root five over two. Then or five divided by three to the power of x is equal to t2 is 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. But with this, this is positive and this is negative. So the whole of this is rejected. The only real solution that we have is 5 over 3 to the power of s is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. Let's work with that. 5 over 3 to the power of s is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. Let's take the log of both sides. Log 5 over 3 to the power of s is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 then x log 5 over 3 is equal to 1 log 1 plus root 5 over 2 let's divide both sides by log 5 divided by 3 then divided by log 5 over 3 divided by log 5 over 3 and this one will cancel this s is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 divided by log 5 over 3 then you may leave your answer like this or if you want to use your calculator let's continue s is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 then divided by log 5 minus log 3 s is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2, that is 1.6180 divided by log 5 minus log 3. S is equal to 0 0.20898 divided by log 5 is 0 0.69. 897 minus log 3 is 0 0.47712 
then s is equal to 0 0.20898 divided by 0 0.22185 then if you divide this to very well s is equal to 0 0.942 that is our final answer if you enjoyed the class please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe Thank you.